Limonene is an organic compound found in the peels of citrus fruits like lemons or oranges. It is present in the outermost part of the peel of the fruit, called flavido, and to recover it you need to remove the inner part called albedo. Then you have to bring it into pieces, mix it with some water, and distill it. It does not sound that hard, so let's do it. Normally, people used to manually grind the flavido from the fruit. However, I decided to take a lazier approach and just use a blender. I added the peels after manually removing the albedo. I actually didn't know any of these words before this video. In my case, the peels were stored in the freezer for a couple of days, and honestly, I didn't take the time to unfreeze them. I just added them with some water and turned on the machine. Immediately, the mixture turned kind of milky. This meant that the limonene dispersed in the water. This shouldn't be a problem, so I just continued blending until all the peels were processed. More water was eventually necessary, so I added it and went on with the process. In total, I used 550 milliliters of water and 590 grams of peels. The mixture was then transferred to a beaker. Now that I think of it, this step was kind of unnecessary, as I could just transfer everything from the blender to the boiling flask. But as if using a beaker was not wasteful enough, I decided to use two beakers instead, because it seems that I'm dumb and I thought that a huge 700 milliliters mixture could fit into a tiny beaker. Anyway, just just let's move on. Then I transferred the mixture to the boiling flask. I swear this should be easier, but somehow I managed to complicate it. If you're watching this and thinking that I'm not doing it fast enough, you're right, I'm not doing it fast enough. If you think otherwise, that means that you're more patient than me, and I congratulate you for that. Anyway, I'm not that patient, and I was doing a sloppy job here. I even tried with a funnel, but it was way worse, as the mixture got stuck and I had to force it out. After minutes of suffering, I went back to the original plan and abused of the little patience that I have. When I finished transferring the mixture, I was ready to set up the distillation apparatus. So I connected the adapter to the boiling flask, as well as the thermometer and the condenser. I like to put Teflon tape on the joints to avoid any leaks. Finally, I connected the adapter and put a clip in every joint to better secure the equipment. I started the circulation of water on the condenser. I added ice cold water to the condenser circulation circuit every now and then to be able to condense all the vapor. With the condenser ready, I turned the heat on. This is important as it is advisable to start cooling before heating when distilling a mixture for safety reasons. After around 15 minutes, the water in the mixture broke into boiling. What's happening here is that the water co-distills with the oil. This means that as the water escapes as a vapor from the mixture, it carries some of the oil with it, and later they condense together into two different liquid phases. Here we can see the two phases condensing, which is actually mesmerizing in my opinion. After a while, the two phases are also distinguishable in the recollection flask. When the recollection flask was full, I changed it for another flask and kept going with the process. After a while, I noticed that the recollection flask wasn't gathering much oil, so I stopped the distillation. You could go on with the distillation as much as you want, but you have to make sure not to dry the water from the boiling flask, as heating a dry flask could break it. To separate the oil from the aqueous phase, you could use a separation funnel. However, I tried with a syringe. I had to do it several times to recover everything, and the syringe was getting stuck because the limonene was dissolving the rubber inside it but I could separate the layers with no issue, and you should be able to do it as well. I mean, if I could, you can. You just need to be careful not to take any water with the oil. 
At the end, I was able to obtain around 3 milliliters of limonene oil, which represents a yield of 16 milliliters per kilogram of orange peels, which is a really high yield. This made me think that what I got was not completely pure, but its smell and appearance match with those of limonene oil. And I swear, this smell like those Tic Tac candies that I love. Maybe I should try to do those in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. This is my first post in YouTube, and I am happy to start this journey with you. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more content in the near future.